Greetings. I was cutting the hedge earlier on and I found this in the leaf litter at the bottom of the hedge. It's a disposable vape. I've not seen inside one of these things before. So let's take a look. I know the end comes off, revealing just that goopy thing in there. Let's get the other end cap off as well. Aha, uh -huh. we have a cap with something. We'll check out that in a sec. I think that's what is that? Looks like a microphone. And there's a there's a battery in there, and I can actually slide the whole thing out. We have a heater and battery and some sort of circuit in the end, so obviously that isn't a microphone. Three volts in the battery. Is that some sort of pressure switch? There's an LED on the back of that. It seems to be triggered if you do that. Is that flashing because it's dead? And this is supposed to be a 3.7 volt cell. Let's charge the cell and find out. Now that flashing blue LED must indicate that the battery is low because I've just fully charged this now because it is a lithium ion rechargeable battery. And you can see now that if I blow on this, it's heating up the, the vaporizer. If you look on the rear, you can see it is labelled as being not meant for just throwing in the waste. It should be recycled. But obviously because it contains a lithium battery, this can't just go in the metal recycling with all your cans and plastics and things. Because even with this thing supposedly discharged, it still had three volts across the battery. So if that gets crushed up in a recycling centre, that can start a fire. So these... Ideally, I suppose they ought to be recycled with household batteries, really. Anyway, let's disconnect the battery and see what we've got. Now, the battery is interesting because once you take off the tape that was binding the ends, it actually unfolds to appear to be a, a cylindrical cell in a foil pouch. Well, the trouble is I've fully charged it now, which means I've got to discharge it. This will do it. That took an overnight run, but it's now flat. So let's take a look what's inside. Hmm. So there is a cell inside after all, or is there? There's a lot of liquid in there. And I think that's the actual electrolyte of the, the cell. I think it's an actual, it's a spiral wound cell. Just in a in a foil pouch instead. I'll nip outside to unravel this. I'm glad I didn't do that fully charged. Because there are two separate electrodes all on these flat uh, flat tapes and an insulating separator. If I pulled that apart fully charged, it would have shorted itself out, and that would have been, uh, that would have been fun. The next bit of this video was going to be me cutting into this control module to see what's inside. But with that, out walking the dog, someone's checked a different one out. You can see the battery's almost out on this one as well. Let's take a look inside. With the cap off, let's see we've got a very familiar looking lithium cell there. The rest of that come out in one? Let's find out. Yes it will. 
and it looks like again we've got that little microphone look-alike thing controlling it same cell same little microphone thing controlling it just a different shape the heater itself by the way is just a couple of turns of wire wrapped around a wick which soaks up the vape juice from the foam surround here's a close-up of the control module front and back with the foam cover peeled back so you can see what's inside on the back it's got three connections a plus for positive a w for um, negative and another connection for the heater it's also got an led fitted to act as a status indicator it still looks very much like an electric microphone and if you pull it apart it still has some resemblance to one it may even use some of the same parts as that could make it cheaper to produce underneath the foam top there's a metal plate with vent holes similar to the electric microphone back plate but this time it's at the front below that is a thin separator ring and then a piece consisted of a metal ring with a conductive film top now this film doesn't appear to be very conductive, but it is very fragile and easily torn apart by meter probes wielded by fat fingers. It may or may not be a microphone diaphragm being repurposed. That's surrounded by an insulating ring to separate it from the outer can, and is squashed into contact with a small PCB at the back, which also connects to the outer can. Unlike an electric microphone, though, this PCB has a pair of holes which allow airflow through it. The PCB just contains one chip, in this case marked TY0310, plus a mystery polarised component marked B1. It could be a diode, but I don't really see why there'd be a diode here. And I opened up the other module as well, just to check they have the layers in the correct sequence. And that one has a chip marked V6986 instead, and the mystery component is has no markings at all. Other than that, the layout's identical. In trying to find information regarding this second vape chip, I did stumble across a website where someone else has done a teardown and gone into detail putting the chip through its paces. I won't repeat that work here, but I'll put a link here and in the video description because it's probably worth checking out. And something worth noting on that one as well is the mystery component on their schematic is a capacitor. The basic functionality is this though. When you take a drag on the vape, it causes a pressure drop on the side of the control module closest to the mouthpiece, i.e. furthest from the indicator LED. This causes the diaphragm to flex and make contact with the vented top plate. The chip detects this and, as long as there's enough juice in the battery, lights the LED and turns on the vaporizing heater. If there's not enough juice in the battery, regardless of any juice in the vape chamber, it flashes the LED instead of running the heater and it's time to throw it in the battery recycle bin, or if you're a lazy bastard, on the side of the road. So there you have it. That's what's inside two different models of disposable vape. Useful as a source of small rechargeable lithium cells if you need any. Thanks for watching.